How's it going everybody? Tyler Schwartz here and welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're continuing the basics and beginner series from uh, last couple videos. So if you haven't seen those, be sure to check them out. Uh, it's kind of a continuous series. Uh, one leads to the next and, and, and so on and so on. Um, but this is a series meant for Irish dancers at their very beginning of the journey. Um, if you've never Irish danced before, you want to pick up a few dance moves to bring to your next uh, social function, this is the series of videos for you. Today we're going to be learning what is normally referred to as uh, a sevens combination. It's a series of step-ins. It's a movement that's commonly done in Irish dancing. and. Uh, really simple and straightforward, so I figured it'd be a good thing to add to this series and uh, show how to how to do something like this in, in kind of this format. Without further ado, let's get into today's tutorial. Okay, so we have our righty-whitey, and we're gonna put that in front as we do. All right, and we're gonna start with our two feet together, heel to toe, and we're gonna do a big jump off of two feet together, just like this. All right, as we leave the floor, we wanna point our toes down. It's like a spring off the floor. Um, yeah, so that's our one, okay. Ready, we're gonna try that again. Two, three, and big jump. And as soon as we finish our landing, and we land the two feet together, we're gonna to keep our left foot planted, and we're gonna pick up our right leg. Now, as we do that, we're gonna put our foot down, and that's gonna be our two. So we have our one and our two. We're gonna go one, two, and we're gonna step together. We're constantly gonna be reaching out with our right foot and connecting together with our back foot, our left foot. So we did our one, two, three, four, five, we don't stop till six, seven. And that's where we get our sevens name. <laughs> Very elaborate, very creative, I know. Ready, try that again. Two, three, and jump. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Some tips on how to do this nice and fast and efficient. Try and do it off of your heels. It's the same reason why when we jump rope and we want to jump rope really fast, we don't jump on off of our heels. We jump usually off of our heels and light and higher up on our toes, because that's when we are our fastest and our most limber, you know. So, arms are down, right foot's in front, heel to toe, two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty much it. So a way to kind of make this dance move, if we put this on a loop, how to make it a little bit more interesting is two ways. Um, the first one being the second time we do it, we still have our right foot in front, we're going to do a circle, okay? Same footwork, but we're not going to be traveling anymore, all we're doing is traveling in a circle over our right shoulder. It's done like this. Ready? Two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I didn't rotate it enough. I almost under rotated it. Try that again. Two, three, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if we wanted to keep doing that loop, we could keep traveling this way, but if we wanted to return back to our starting point, because we are traveling a little bit right now, we would switch feet when we do our jump. So instead of jumping and landing with our right foot in front, we would switch jump and now travel with our left foot instead. So if our right foot's in front, we go switch, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can continue and do our circle there. Jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there we go. So let's do all of that together, okay? Talk it through. So we're gonna travel and turn, travel and turn. And halfway through, we're gonna switch feet with the left foot in front and lead out with our left foot. Ready? Two, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there we go. Next thing to do, let's try it to music. So you can hear that bounce to it. One, two, 
three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the big difference between this one and our previous movements is that we're splitting up those four counts into smaller counts. Splitting them in half, so we split four to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Instead of our one, two, three, four. So it's bum, 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 bum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For this movement, I don't know where eight went. We're gonna hold on eight, okay? So just think of the seven counts there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kinda sounds like um like Monty Python Holy Grail, like the coconuts. Click, 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 click. Like you're the, the horse with the coconuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, the one on its own is our big jump. So we did our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so we're gonna try this to music now. All right, just the first part, just moving. Five, six, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, all right. Five, six, seven, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And right off of that, we go one, two, three, and we'll rotate off of that. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At this point, we're gonna switch our feet, and we're gonna go, whoop, <laughs> we're gonna go, switch, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then from there, we're gonna go over our left shoulder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the whole thing together, ready? Six, seven, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 There we go. Good, good, good. So, like I said, you wanna stay off of your heels, be up on your tippy toes. It's very important for your back foot that carries a lot of your balance and your weight. You wanna keep that um, up as much as possible and be careful not to let it sink down. Uh, we lose that glide effect when we go across the stage where the head kind of stays even the whole way. If that back heel keeps dropping, we get like a bobby effect or a bobbing effect. <laughs> um, so if you wanna uh, get that glide effect, it's, it's all on the back foot. It's a little bit more tricky, a little, a little bit more, more of a, a calf workout, but that's a way we can make it more challenging and more intricate. Um, also, just like in the previous uh, combinations, this one gets more challenging the faster the tempo is. So if you go with a faster tempo, you gotta move a little bit faster. But the spacing is all distributed the same way. No matter what the tempo is, um, the, dis this is yeah, the distance between two and three is always the same as the distance between three and four. Um, it never kinda shifts up, okay. Um, but it's a cool, cool, uh, Cool movement to learn, uh, a good one that works well with a lot of uh, jigs in particular. So I said it in the other videos, but like shipping off to Boston is a very common Irish dancey tune. That's a jig. So when they say do a jig, do a jig, and shipping off to Boston comes on, you can do that. You can do that. Um, if you have zero space, we talked about how Irish dancing can always be done in spot. You can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, stay in spot, or you can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, <laughs> you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All that stuff can be done in spot. If you have some space on the dance floor, you can move with this one. It's really nice. Um, but that's all for today. Hope you learned something. Hope you had fun. If you did, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more fun combinations. Um, like the video, it really helps me with the channel, helps get this video out more to more people who might want to try out Irish dancing for the first time. I think the series is so awesome for getting people out of their comfort zones a little bit and, and trying out this uh, lovely art form for the very first time. Um, so I would really appreciate that. Hope you had fun. 
happy dancing, and I will see you all in the next video.